Salutations YouTube, this is Spectator Slight coming at you today with a possible first for YouTube and that is how to do hex edits of Soul Calibur 5 on the PS3 version. Now, I believe this hasn't been documented anywhere on the interwebs as of yet but I just now figured out about this about two hours ago so I might as well give my how I did it might I say so I'll go step by step um, if you want to go into further reference you could check out the free 60 hex edit tutorials it's basically gonna be more the same for the PS3 so uh, yeah so let us begin with that shall we so you're gonna want a couple things one a USB with your save data of so Calibur 5 on it if you don't know how to do that you can do a quick Google search it's pretty straightforward I don't really need to go into a whole lot of detail for that you want to get brute force save data to decrypt the files and be able to do all the hex edit. And then you want of course a hex editor. I will use HXD for this preference. And I believe that is it. And I'm gonna be referring to a uh, sheet here as you can see throughout this video because like I said I just now figured out about this so let's begin with that shall we so first thing you want to do is open up your brute force save data you want to go ahead and select your Soul Calibur 5 save and you want to decrypt but as you can see I already have decrypted so you just click on decrypt PFD if you it should be right here now I want to go ahead and go to open and explore. I want to click on that save dad. I want to click open. Oh wait, wait. Click open with and then you just click on the HSXD hex editor. Don't really need to say anything on that. And then you should get some like this that pops up. As you can see I've been working on it myself. Now then, so where to begin really, uh, I guess I'll start with simple, like, text change, like change the name of a cos. So let's just say I wanted to, now note, I believe at the moment only creative soul characters are hexable at the moment. As far as I know, I haven't found any of the roster characters as of yet. I don't know if they're encrypted somewhere else. is beyond me. But, uh, just the costs at the moment are really the only ones you can really mess with. So, I'm just, I created a reference nightmare, so all you have to do is search for nightmare, make sure it's text string data type, click OK. Oh, whoops. And usually it'll be the first reference. Now I'm going to go to this. And uh, we'll start from the bottom up. So right here should be where the f file ends for that character. Now let's scroll up here. Uh you'll screw up quite a bit until you found no there's none of these right here in this highlighted will be the trail color for your weapon and then the next set of dots the red number here will be for your fight install and these last two digits of the third row will be for your weapon number uh, Determining that, you'll just have to change the weapons and then consistently t 
taking that saved data and put it back on the USB and take it reference to its value right there to find out how to use it for other file installs and whatnot. And we'll scroll up even more here. Oh, basically, it's just the same as you would do it on the 360, really. And as you can see, this is the broken body equipment. This is just if your opponent needs the compatibility packs for certain items. Broken body equipment, face, equipment slots, hair, body parts. All pretty straightforward there. Then there's the slots, the voice, voice process, in which is, I think, like, the filters, like, for Astroff's voice, it sounds robotic. That's what I'm talking about. And then the body proportions, which I'm not sure what really to do with that. <clears throat> so let's begin with the actual editing. So, so let's say if I wanted to um, change Nightmare's name to someone else. I don't know. Let's just change it to some random value. Uh... Let's see, what could I name him? I just... I guess Montague. And that is basically it, and you basically change his name. And all you would have to do is just click on save, and that is it. Uh, for this reference, I'm not gonna change his name, I'm just gonna change it back to Nightmare. Now, scroll back down here, and you want to scroll back down to, wait, let me scroll back up here. You can see I've made some edits with the fight install, so I guess I'll take care of that here. So go to where you have these two rows of dots. And take note of the two labeled spots here of the fine style weapon number. So the first one will be fine style, and second one will be the weapon number. So basically, if I wanted to like change Nightmare's fight install to let's say like Izio or something like that, we'll go to the character specific here, and we would change that from which you should get is 06 and if we want it Izio we'll just change it to 1F and that is it and Nightmare should now have Izio's move set if you save it and we'll get to that part later on for this point I'm just gonna change it back to what I had it at which was at Patrolkas Uh, let's see what else we got here. And uh, yeah, the rest is really self explanatory here. I mean, I haven't really messed with it a whole lot, but if you could basically follow the 360 Soul Calibur 5 hex edit videos, and it's basically the exact same as this is. Both have the same file structure as far as I know except one doesn't have the roster data I believe or I think it's already like that at default I don't know but yeah I mean that was basically it on how to really do that and uh, once you are done doing your edit and, and whatnot just go ahead and click save and just click encrypt PFD and then you just put that save back on your PS3 and copy it over and you should now notice the changes as you do that um, currently I don't have any kind of screenshots to really give for the proof but I'll do future videos with proof of this such that this all this works I can confirm that the name changing does work. I'm currently working on the models, as you can see. And I'll probably show my results within the next couple of days, 
and probably do like an update video of certain things. But uh, yeah, the PS3 version is indeed just as hexable to edit as the 360 version. The only difference is you don't just click on the dot date and, and you get all these dot neos and additional dot dats. No, no, you don't do that. You open an open explorer and then open it up with HXD. Of course, as decrypted. Otherwise, it will corrupt your safe data. Also, you always want to back up your safe data when you do that. Uh, and one thing I want to add when you uh, mess with doing all this hex, just set the byte group size to 4. Makes things a lot more easier. And uh, yeah, I believe that is it for uh, how to hex edit for the PS3. Basically, it's just how you would if you were to do it on the 360, except you add in the brute force part of it. And you just go on from there. And that is about it. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, everyone. And feel free to subscribe. Take care.